was going to do a video on my inverters that I mounted inside the garage. Yeah, the wiring's not that pretty, but anyway, I was going to show you uh, <clears throat> some situations I have had. The, the top inverter was the first one that I got a hold of, and I've had nothing but problems with it. I couldn't, it would shut off, I just, I gave up on that specific brand, but anyway, I got these other two, which are the, uh, what are these, power inverter, grid type, I don't, I don't know what the, the brand is, I'm sure you've seen this, got them on eBay, about like 150 a pop, one's a 500, one's a 600, um, I got the top inverter, that's for my wind turbine, it doesn't, I live in Texas, it's, it's pretty much a waste of money and time, but I, I wanted to do it anyway. Um, the last thing I put in here was I uh, did a video on how to make a cheap disconnect. And you can just flip it and you hear the thing shut off. I, uh, I made that disconnect there. I ordered the actual switch and cut it into a junction box and it cost me about five dollars for the switch which is pretty cheap to you know it's rated for like 300 amps at 12 volts and I got some fusible links that were uh, I think that's from a an amp system it was off of uh, some speakers you know so that's one's 60 amps the other one is a hundred amps um, yeah there could be definitely some improvements on this but that's what I got set up right now but 